So the other day, I was at an airport waiting for a friend of mine, and while I was in the pilot's lounge, there was a newspaper article that caught my eye. It was about this missing aviator from back in 1992 named Maxine Perro. She essentially just vanished into thin air. Who is Max Perro? And how do you just go missing? Seek the invisible where mysteries entwine. I await unseen for the curious to find. Okay, now, how have I never heard of this before? A missing aviator that apparently was flying a Super Cub and from what I'm hearing was last seen somewhere near where I am here in the Northern Sierras. Now, after finding that printed news article, I went on a deep dive and found every single news reporting I could on Max in an effort to figure out what's going on here. Last seen flying a Piper I mean, we're talking a person that vanishes into thin air as well as artifacts and leaves a note behind. This is all just a little too fishy. We need to find out what happened to Max Perot. Top of the morning to What's you. What's up, dude? How are you? Good, how about you? Good, it was sporty coming in there. Was it? Yeah, it blowing can't... like, just go up 100, 100 feet and it's... It's blowing? It's definitely picking up. Yeah. Nice, I got something for you, Trent. Got something for me? Something for you. A gift. What is this? Okay, this is a box. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> this box is going to follow your next adventure. I'm always trying to figure out new ways to do fun things in aviation. I feel like aviation is this very archaic, dated thing in many ways. Totally. And yet we have very advanced avionics and panels. The things that we do in aviation are not advanced. So I'm constantly thinking about what we can do there. That's just where my brain usually goes. So we've AirTag equipped these boxes yeah. and come up with a game of, of pass it on. Pilot to pilot, pass it on. The idea is that you can open up the case. It's just a clear Pelican case. It's equipped with an air tag, and uh, there's some mementos and things in here. And I'll tell you about the backstory here in just a second. Okay. But the idea is, I'm going to hand this to you. You take whatever you want out of your shop, some Freedom Fox stickers, whatever it is, toss it in the case, close this thing up, chuck it in the back of the plane, fly somewhere, hand it off. Now, with that said, we can't just have a game of pass it on. Yeah. So I've come up with this idea of the quest or the search for Max Pero. The game itself and the search for Max Pero is a fictional made up thing. So yeah, Max Pero exists and somebody will come across her at some point and she'll be very excited. Uh, she's aware of the game, she knows what's going on and she's contributing to it. With that said, is she an aviator? I don't know. Did she have this great collection? I'm not sure. Yeah. But uh, you know, we rewound into the game based on the concept of taking an AirTag equipped box and tracking these things across country. And uh, so we built this whole website to go along with this. Each box is tagged with a color-coded uh, system so you can watch and track where these boxes have gone, where the box you contributed to is and where it has gone. Um, yeah, and then we've got all sorts of cool data and stuff that's displayed about how many miles these things have traveled. And you got any sort of like hashtag, like people that you know, if you get it, should you be posting? One hundred percent. And the uh, the instructions are on here, but post these things because and tag it Max Pearl. Max Pearl also has an Instagram account, so you can find her on Insta. But uh, yeah, the idea is you want to share what you put in here, so people know your cool contents. Feel free to grab and take. You know, something if, if it jibes with you yeah. or just fill this thing up um, and dig through it and be stoked and pass it on. And it looks like you got a little log book in there. So yep. little log make book. a little entry sign in the log your, book. Sign your end number. Yeah. Put in your signature. I like it, dude. So, you know, I've kind of thought it would be fun to do like geocaching yeah. on planes. Yeah. The funny thing about geocaching, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's just like basically organized littering. Like I, someone's like, I'm gonna leave junk out here and others can come and find my junk. But I'm like, you know, if you do too much of that, that's just straight littering. Well, it's funny because we have a little bit of like the geocaching idea. So on the website, we also have a request tool, which is sweet. So you can get on there, request your airport, throw on your name and number. Super easy if you trust the data and whatnot. Um, and the idea is if a little orange node pops up on the map and you've got this case and somebody just popped up instead over the hill, you can say, oh sweet, I'm gonna take it over to them. And uh, what's happened is three or four of these have been handed off via the request tool already and yeah. the people aren't around and they say, hey, just throw it next to 
you know, whatever the hanger number is or, uh, you know, side of the whatever it is. Like on the padlock exactly. or something on the door. Exactly. Yeah. And so it's worked out nice where you can hand them off, but you don't have to actually be there person to person. There's so many tools to create fun things like this that I just hope the aviation world or the young kids that are stoked on flying say, oh, that'd be sweet. Let's let's utilize some of this technology. Let's build this quick website. Let's, you know, pull some of these tools together and see what we can do to make these things fun. And and so you already have some of these in circulation there and they're making it around, huh? They are. So there's, uh, w well, one jumped on a commercial flight and flew to Dubai. That was the, okay. that was the furthest. But uh, in the general aviation world, we've got currently one in Wisconsin, Florida. There's probably five floating around in California. One's up north. I think one's in Salt Lake today. Phoenix, Houston. They're around, yeah. And it's super fun. Every day we've been watching the map just kind of grow. And That's uh, right. And is there, I mean, what is the rule with like commercial aviation? There is no rule. Okay. Yeah, so? Yeah, yeah. we actually, I, I convinced Juan Brown to take one overseas. Just, oh, okay. Well, okay, so back, rewind into the testing phase of this. We wanted to make sure it works. So I talked to Juan and I said, Juan, will you just take one on 777 over next time you go over to Sydney or something? So he jumps in and takes it. And we hadn't had just the airport uh, tracking, so I watched him go around and where he stayed in his hotel. <laughs> and I was like, gosh, I'm totally spying on Juan here. But, uh, but it worked. That was the idea. Like, would it go overseas and come back? Now, he had some concerns of, hey, excuse me, Mr. Pilot, can you take this little clear case with this beeping tag inside and uh, you know take it on your on your commercial aircraft? And um, you know he didn't think that was going to go over so well. So we'll keep it in GA. And I think as it gains more attention, people will not be as hesitant to grab one of these boxes and chuck it in their plane and fly it somewhere. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, super fun. I think the cool part is kind of seeing the logbook in there, whose hands it's been through, and like. It'll be interesting to see, like, if I hand this on, if it ever makes it back to me. Totally. You know, if it goes a long ways. So yeah. that, that'd be pretty cool. And you already designed a full website for it, huh? Full website's going. Um, like I said, there's so many tools to go and do this with that would make it easy for the consumers or whoever it is to build this kind of stuff. We had a lot of custom coding and development that went into this. So, you know, the hosting platform and everything else is our own. But because yeah, uh, you're a web designer. Web designer. Yeah. Yeah. That was my background. Okay. Because you knew what I was going to ask. Yeah, totally. Yep. <laughs> and I encourage you to use Squarespace. <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys that uh, Squarespace is the sponsor of this video. So thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring another one of my videos. And for those of you that don't know, Squarespace is the ultimate way to build a website and run your business. You start with one of their award-winning templates crafted into your own beautiful, professional-looking website that's already optimized for both desktop as well as mobile. And they have features for every industry. I don't know if you could make a map that would track air tags like this. Maybe you could, but I know that you can do all the integrations for online stores, booking and scheduling your clients, professional photo galleries, integrations with your social media platforms. And honestly, it's like zero experience necessary. It's like just drag and drop, click to change. Super simple. So if you haven't yet, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to purchase, make sure you use code Trent Palmer at checkout. That'll get you 10% off. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this one. And thank you, Mike. Yes, for, you're welcome. For keeping general aviation fun. I'm excited. I'm going to be grabbing that. I'm going to hand it off. Search for Max Pro. Yes, and I will leave a little memento or two for people to grab in there. Something I'll probably like 3D print something custom. That would be sweet. And yeah. af actually, if you want this next from Trent and you want to pull his 3D piece out and keep it for yourself, use the request tool on the website and tag it somewhere and maybe you can take it directly to somebody. Yeah. Yeah, no guarantees. I, I don't know what my next planned adventure is, so I'm just gonna throw it in the plane. The next first person I see is getting it, and then I'm just I want, I'm excited to watch this thing. So I love it, dude. Thank you. Case three. I'm excited about this. Case case three. three, and they're labeled and tagged, so you'll know. Okay. Case three. Awesome, man. All right, guys. So for any of my pilot friends out there, keep your eye out for these. See if you can get your hands on one. Make sure to post and tag about it. This will be a fun little game. And with that, I think I'm gonna wrap this out here. You guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one.